What's up, y'all? It's Rudy again. Just coming to y'all to talk about uh, do they really want you? Does he really want you? Does she really want you? Um, these are questions that we got to ask ourselves when, you know, going through relationships or when you're just starting out in a relationship or you're trying to figure out if you want to even be in that relationship. Um, you got to see if the person really loves you. And a lot of times we ask ourselves this when we give uh, when we give a fleshy benefit to someone early on in a relationship or, you know, like we might have had sex with this person early in the relationship. Um, we probably bought them a lot of gifts, took them a lot of places, you know, and, and the chemistry is there, but we don't really have uh, something together. So now it's been some time and we're trying to figure out, does this person really want to be with me? There's a lot of ways that we could figure this out. Um, Sometimes you might be with this person and it seems, it might even seem like they, they continuously come for you for, for this comfort that they need, uh, sex. You know, you might not hear from this person for a while and they hit you up at nighttime, you know what I'm saying? You want to be with them, but they want sex. Of course you want sex too, but you know what happens. Y'all, y'all might, you know, things might go wrong and then y'all need to talk and the person you know, doesn't want to talk, doesn't want to communicate, but they want to have sex. Or the same thing could go for guys. You talk to a lady, but, you know, she she want to go places and she want to do things. You know what I'm saying? But when it's time to talk about things or when it's time to, you know, express your feelings and all that, um, y'all can't do it. Or she doesn't, you know, she's not willing to do it. So is the person really there for you? Are they really there for the, for, for, for the things that you provide them? the fleshy benefits that you provide them. So what I'm saying is sometimes you might have to take away those fleshy benefits that you provide to this person in order to find out if they really want to be with you, if he really want to be with you, if she really wants to be with you. Um, It's just like a child. If a child goes to school and act up and then comes back home and you find out that they was acting up and they end up not listening to you. But you're giving them toys and candy. You're actually fulfilling their fleshy benefit. You're giving them exactly what it is that they need, what it is that makes them feel good. So what makes you think that they're going to go back to school tomorrow and they're going to change anything? They're not going to change anything because they know I could do whatever I want to do and I'm going to still get what it is that I want. You know, especially when you're starting out. If you continuously give this person their fleshy benefit, what it is that makes them feel good, and they don't have to do much, then why are they going to stop? You know, why are they going to stop? What happens is if you take away those toys and those candies from the kids, what are they going to do? Yes, they're going to be mad. Yes, they're going to be sad because you took something away from them that makes them feel good. So now they're going to be willing and they're going to be wanting to get that back. So they're going to do whatever it is that they have to do in order to get that back, just like in a relationship. You know, if you take something from someone, actually find out what it is that they want, what it is that they desire. See, you continuously give them the fleshy benefits and that's exactly what it is that they feel they need from you, what it is that they want from you. But if you take away those fleshy benefits, the desire should be you. You are the desire. That's how they focus on loving you when those fleshy benefits are gone. And you can figure that out. And a lot of people do that, but some people may do that out of anger or some people might, might do that because someone does something to them. And I'm not telling you to, to take away the benefits only because someone does something to you and you might want to get them back. No, I'm saying to take it away to find out if this person is willing to go through the wilderness for you. When I say wilderness, I'm basically relating back to God, how God took the Israelites into the wilderness, how God took Jesus into the wilderness where They actually didn't have anything that they may have needed or may have wanted to make them feel good in order to survive. In order to survive where they couldn't get to water, where they couldn't get to food, where they thought they needed these things to survive because it made them feel good. So when they thought they needed these things in order to feel good, God wanted to see would they be willing to put him first? Would they be willing to rely on him in order to survive because God says to put him first and when you put him first you will survive and you won't survive on the things that you feel you need 
like your fleshy benefits. When you put God first, you end up loving others before yourself. So just imagine putting someone through this. They're basically in a wilderness just like Jesus, right? So are they willing to love you when you can't provide to them the things that makes them feel good? Do they truly love you? You feel me? Do they truly want to be with you? These are the things that you have to ask. And these are the things that you want to see because they'll last. It'll actually last longer. It'll actually benefit you for later and not right now. See, the fleshy benefits benefit you right now. But the long-term effect of not having those fleshy benefits is the truth behind finding out if this person really wants to be with you or not. You know, you get what I'm saying? So my thing is, is also you got to look at yourself as well. Like, are you willing to survive the wilderness? Because someone might put you in that wilderness where they're having a season, where they're angry, where they're sad, and they can't provide you with the things that you need. They can't, they can't give you all this love that you may want because they're going through something of themselves. They might even be mad at you about something that you did to them. And they need to feel that love from you. It's just not fair for you to get mad at them because they're not providing it to you. Are you willing to go through the wilderness? Are you willing to love this person? Put God first when you can't get that fleshy benefit from them? These are the things that you have to ask. And these are the things that God tests us on. He tests to find out, are you truly there for them? Are you truly going to put me first in order to love them? God is love and love is giving. Why? Because that is what God does to us. So pay attention to how other people love you pay attention to how you love others as well you put god first you'll be willing to love another person before yourself just to give you a piece of my life i actually did the same thing that's another reason why i even say this uh back in my past i had my ex one of my ex-girlfriends tell me that she wanted to stop having sex you know at the time i didn't know why she was saying that i was like you're bugging what you mean we're not gonna have sex what you mean you don't want to have sex like what's going what's wrong and she was just like, no, nah, I just don't want to have sex. So I ended up getting mad at her and I ended up, you know, you know, probably taking it out on her. And, you know, what I'm saying I was being selfish, though. That was my thing. I was just being selfish. I was only thinking about myself. I was thinking about the fleshy benefits that she provided. You know how sex actually pushed the issue to the side whenever we didn't we wasn't able to communicate and we had conflict. You know, what I'm saying we have sex and that right there would would make it seem like everything is good. We ain't had to talk about it, you know what I'm saying? Even though I might have wanted to talk about it, but even when I didn't, even when we wasn't able to talk about it, oh, we had sex, now we good, right? But actually, the issue was still there. So I got mad because of how it made me feel. I wasn't thinking about her. I wasn't thinking about only giving to her. I wasn't thinking about uh, loving her, you know, at the time when she's trying to do something for herself. I was only thinking about myself, and that's what caused the problem. You know what I'm saying? And that's what probably grew more problems because I was only thinking about what she did, what it is that she did and what she didn't do instead of what can I do for her. I wasn't trying to feel that deep need. I was trying to feel my deep need. So we got to think about others instead of ourselves. God is love and love is giving always. I hope this was able to touch you. Um, I hope this blessed someone. If you know someone else that may need this, which I feel everybody does, then go ahead and send this message.